Good evening, 47. Your target is Dame Barbara Elizabeth Keating, a New Zealand tycoon and the former Minister of Trade and Foreign Affairs. She was forced to resign from her position when a charity she represented was accused of funneling donations towards the Dame's own offshore portfolio. Dame Barbara drew on contacts in the tabloids to shift the blame onto the charity's director, Jacqueline Vicker, destroying her reputation and ensuring that Vicker's death shortly thereafter was perceived as a suicide. Dame Barbara is now embarking on a PR tour to restore her standing, and we believe she's working with a body double in order to protect herself at public events. Needless to say, the contract only applies to the real Dame Barbara. Good luck, 47. Welcome to New Zealand, 47. Your target and her double are both preparing for their undoubtedly tearful comeback speech. I suspect Dame Barbara wouldn't settle for anything less than a perfect doppelganger, so a little additional reconnaissance might be in order. Hmm. What to do about this section? Everything going smoothly? As long as we both pull our weight here, we should be fine. Okay. That's fair enough. The legend of the Phoenix describes an incomparable, powerful creature that perishes only to emerge from the ashes reborn. Renewed. And like the Phoenix, I... <clears throat> like the Phoenix, I see myself not as damaged or diminished by this traumatic experience, but revitalized. <laughs> good, that's good. Still missing something there. Intonation, emphasis, posture. These look like performance notes. They must belong to the double. Who among us has not... Ugh, no, that sounds so rote when I say it like that, doesn't it? Looks like there are quite a few editing notes in this document, 47. And rather granular ones at that. I think you found your target. Barbara, I'm just taking a bit of a break from the computer. It's absolutely wrecking my eyes, but I don't have much of a choice. You know, I used to have a girl for these things. She was such a talented little thing. Always had the shabbiest shoes, just utterly unpardonable. But she got the work done and stayed out of sight, which was the least you can ask of someone like that. Oh, you know what I mean. She was just a bit of a charity case, is all. You deal with all sorts in public positions, and I swear they have some pity program for every little subcategory nowadays. Such a drain on resources, but at least she rang a little bit out of it. Mm, exactly. All right, I should get back to it. We'll talk later. Take care. All right, where was I? When the least among us bends and falls... No. Uh, maybe... When the least among us bends, falls and breaks, we must deign to stoop. Hmm. I need to work on the flow there. Hmm. I have devoted my life to service. Whether it was serving my employees, my community, or the underprivileged with their palms outstretched, and I plan to... I've continued to... <sighs> more conviction, more conviction. And I will forever continue to do so. Yeah, might be a bit clumsy. Okay, let's see here. When I meet individuals in the community, I am often overwhelmed by their... I am... 
I'm. I'm probably sounds more approachable. Maybe too approachable? Good enough for now. Mr. Wickett, did you make those arrangements we discussed? No, no, I don't really need the specifics, so long as you stayed within the range we agreed on. This is precisely why I enjoy working with your firm. Always so reliable, so discreet. You know exactly how to make a lady feel secure. You could forgive me for being a little gun-shy at this point, but... Oh, no, 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 I know you had nothing to do with any of that. Mm. Oh, it could happen to any broker. That's just the world we live in now, isn't it? So much envy and suspicion. So many people sticking their little rat noses in where they don't belong. Isn't that right, Mr. Wicket? Absolutely, yes. Well, oh my god, it must be quite late for you. I should let you go. Yes, you too. Have a good night. To my detractors, of which I know many remain, I can only ever extend the olive branch of... Human compassion? Or just compassion, maybe. I don't need to put a bow on it. Obviously, it wouldn't be animal compassion. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Honestly, this may be the calm before the storm. Sure. Well, don't let me keep you. Many among us have never had to ask ourselves what we would do if our closest friend betrayed our trust, ruined our name, our life, everything we had built. Would we rage against them? Or would we forgive? Right, right, this should feel like a real emotional crescendo. Need to lean into that. Hmm. To this day, I believe that the director... No, no. To this day, I believe that my dear friend Jacqueline did not set out to do what she did with greed in her heart. She was a kind but misguided person who only ever deserved our forgiveness and understanding. Okay, that's good. And I ask you, where was the media then? Hmm. Better soften that a bit, actually. <clears throat> I know that if Jacqueline were here today, she would... Jackie? No, no, Jacqueline's better. Need to keep a little distance there, don't we? Hmm. It's me, and I'm going to tell you right out of the gate that I have not appreciated the tone of your emails lately. Just because I've hired you to help me with my public image certainly doesn't mean you're entitled to talk down to me in that way. Not in the slightest. Yes, I'm aware of how it would look, but I believe it's your job to prevent any unwanted visibility on these matters entirely. Do you think that's an unfair expectation? Because I don't. I've told you a million times, you don't need to know where the money's coming from. It's not a problem. In fact, it's keeping you in that lovely little flat of yours, isn't it? Besides, worst comes to worst, I know how to clean up after myself, and I know how to clean up after others. Now, is that good enough for you? Glad to hear it. Do you take care now. Say hello to the family for me. I can't believe they put a new guy on Dame Barb. Did you see the moustache on him? That thing's straight out of the 70s. Probably has a tiny comb for it and everything. <laughs> yeah, he's got Balian on him like a whale, man. Maybe that's what he does on his break. You know, he goes out to the water and strains out a bunch of krill to eat. Yeah. You know, it's not a great joke if I have to look it up in an encyclopedia.
This is exhausting. I need a smoke. Man, it's me. Principal has requested a smoke break. Escorting her. Over. Target eliminated. Well done, 47. The client is transferring a very charitable donation as we speak. Now, time to make your exit. Command area is all clear. Please advise, over.